I started a hike. It's a popular one where I grew up and like I literally <laughs> just got to the trailhead but I'm walking pretty fast and obviously I'm already out of breath um, but I'm out here to try and get a good workout and just enjoy the weather. It's so warm today which is delightful. And yeah, I'm just gonna take advantage of that. I just made it up the first bit of incline. And I'm filming this so I remember where I'm at. It was really hard. The last time I did it, right after coming back from New Zealand, it was so easy. But I don't feel like that anymore. So humbling but I'm gonna keep going um, it's such a perfect day I might even take my long sleeve off do you see these mountains this is the Stewart mountain range my favorite mountains Happy Tuesday. It's about 8 a.m. I just got to Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. I'm hearing meadowlarks, um, which is exciting. I'm hoping to see some. I haven't actually ever seen one in real life that I remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm hearing a lot of them, so hopefully. And it's beautiful out here. I've never been here. It's about an hour and a half from home. Um, and it's really lovely morning so far. I was hoping to get here a lot earlier than I did, but alas, it's really hard to get out of bed and hopefully I'll get better at that, but let's see what we can find. It's around. Um, I'm surrounded by basalt columns, all made from lava. I'm still hearing lots of metal arcs, but I haven't seen any yet. I just saw and heard a giant flock of snow geese flying overhead. I've never seen snow geese before. And eBird said that it's unusual to see this many this time of year. So that's kind of cool. I just saw deer tracks. I've seen tons of coyote scat. Um, and like <laughs> this section is the first part that I've actually been on trail instead of just road. Um, I'm still hearing lots of meadowlarks, but I still haven't seen one. about an hour away this morning down south of Yakima at Toppenish Wildlife Refuge. I've never been there before, but I want to give it a try. 
it's kind of windy this morning but it looks like it's a little bit nicer down there um and so i'm just gonna pack up real quick and get out of here Good morning from Toppenish National Wildlife Refuge. Um, I'm here just outside of Toppenish looking at birds. I just got here, it's about 8.30 and there are so many species. It's kind of, it's right off the highway, at least where I am right now. So it's kind of like, there's a lot of road noise, which is disappointing, but there's still lots of birds here. So I'm excited to see what we can find. I don't know if you just saw me react to that or if you heard it, but according to my phone, that was two Wilson snipes. I've never seen a snipe before, but I knew it looked different than anything I've ever seen. And it sounded so cool and looked so cool, but they just flew overhead really fast. And now, oh my God, I have to find them. Okay, it's confirmed. I've now seen them and heard them. They are a pair of Wilson snipes. <gasps> I think there's more than two. I think I just saw another pair at the same time. They're so fast. I wish I could like show you guys. This is like the coolest. These might be the coolest birds I've ever seen. They're so cool. They're doing crazy flight patterns right now and like, ah, they're so cool. Are you never gonna believe me? <laughs> but I just saw two Northern Harriers. And I swear to God, I've never seen anything like this in my life. But one harrier had a fish and it dropped the fish. I think it was a fish. I mean, it could have been a rodent or something, but it was something. Dropped it and the other harrier swooped in and caught it. They like passed it to each other. It was amazing. And then one harrier was like landed on a nest box um, that the tree swallows use and was trying to like get in. There's probably babies and the tree swallow was like dive bombing it. But then they both flew away and I didn't get any photos <laughs> or video. I have been working on my little baby sweater. And look at this progress. That's a sleeve. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I have like five rounds, yeah, five rounds left until I do the ribbing on the end of the sleeve and then I'm done and I get to go to the other sleeve. Hello, welcome to a new day. Um, I've been working on this baby mobile. I don't know if I have told you about it yet, but my sister's having a baby next, or no, this month. <laughs> um, so I've been working on, well, the baby sweater, so I probably have mentioned, but also this baby mobile, which this is what it's looking like so far. I've got a moon, an owl, some clouds, a mountain, and a tree so far. I'm gonna do at least one more tree, at least one more mountain. Um, and I also have a moose. <laughs> and hopefully I'll do like a fox or something. I'm planning on doing like one more animal. I'm trying to finish that before I leave. Um, so it's kind of a huge project. It takes a lot of time. And like this, this is the mess that I've made. <laughs> um, but you know. Luckily, when it's just me and Gavin, we don't really need to use the table. We can just sit at the counter and whatever. So this is my crafting table, my crafting desk at the moment. Um, but I'm gonna get to work on that today. Um, my goal is to at least just stuff the owl 
and the clouds that are hanging on there. I've just glued them so far. 